Transfer deadline in the English Premier League closes on Thursday. Christian Eriksen for Man United was a late bit of speculation. Much truth in this, do you reckon? I think there is because, you know, his situation at Spurs has been well documented. Uh, you know, and I, the question is, is uh, how many players of this type do United need? was what I would say. I mean, do you, would you want Christian Eriksen in and around your squad and your team? Then the answer would be yes. I mean, he said, I think he's got better and better at Tottenham. The problem is, for Solskjaer, right, he's got Pogba still there, different type of player, but, you know, attacking player. He's got Sanchez, who was useless and <laughs> it's unlikely to get better, but he's on huge money. Then you've got the Martials, you've got Lingard, Rashford, who sometimes plays in his normal position and plays behind. So you've got all these other players. I might have missed one or two out, I don't know. So you put him in the mix, then it's a good squad. I mean, it's a good for the squad and pot potentially good for the team, yeah. You talk about timing, you're like, well, why are they leaving it so late? But well, that's, hold what it, that's what they do. That's what they've done in recent years. They've left it late. I mean, the Harry Maguire thing, you know, it just kept going and kept going and kept going. And when you kind of thought, well, you were going to have to pay the money anyway because Leicester were not desperate. And I kind of feel maybe this is a similar scenario. Uh, be a big loss for Tottenham, I'd say that, because he's been a really good player for them. Uh, very consistent, does a bit of everything. You know, even he'll chase back and, you know, tackle back. He's not the most physical of players. And listen, if he gets a chance to get a move to Man United, who's to, who's to stop him? But what I would say, I think Tottenham are in a better position in terms of a team at the moment. You know, and likely at the yeah. moment to finish further up the league. That's the thing. He's got a year left on his deal, yeah. so there'll be a lot of clubs that will be interested in him if he doesn't move in this transfer window. Is Manchester United minus Champions League a bigger incentive than Spurs with Champions League? Probably not when you consider what Spurs did last year and got all the way to the final, mm -hmm. which is an amazing achievement with the fact they didn't buy anybody the year before. Uh, they brought some people in, particularly the lad from France who looks as if he's going to be a good player. That would help somebody like Ericsson to have a mobile midfielder in there. So the answer is no. You're, you're talking a potential title challenge from Spurs. Potential. They look the team most likely that is going to trouble the top two if it is. And Champions League football. right? To Man United, I think it'll be a fight for top four. And is it Europa League football? I think it is, isn't it? Well, but there's the argument, and that's how important it is for United to get into the Champions League this year and finish top four to try and attract players going forward. But then you've got a chance to play for Manchester United, which has always been a big drag. It's but you, big you've, you've just said that Manchester United minus Champions League isn't as much of an incentive as Spurs with the Champions League. No, it isn't, but then, then to have the chance in your career to have played for one of the biggest of course, clubs in the world. massive that club. Maybe not isn't, well, certainly not isn't in the position it was in the Ferguson years, and we know they've had problems. It's not the biggest pool that it was in the halcyon days, but it is still a pool for certain players. Hence, if they get into the Champions League, and then he, and they're he, dining at the top table again. He, he might want a change, mm -hmm. and he might not be getting what he wants at Spurs, and the money might be more. I mean, there's all different facets. Christian Eriksen is a good player. He would be an improvement in what Man United have. It's as simple as that. And he fits in. Whether they need him in yeah. that position. Whether you need amazing. good players, if a good player becomes available, you make... They need better players. You make Something it work. Like so we'll wait and see. Thursday, the transfer deadline shuts in England. Will Ericsson stay at Spurs, or is he on his way to Old Trafford? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.